Powerful winds and rain ripping through Port Fouchon, Louisiana, as Hurricane Ida made landfall. The storm roaring ashore last night is a Category 4 with winds of 150 miles per hour. This video is dramatic. At least one person has died, but the governor of Louisiana is warning tonight that the death toll could rise as search and rescue efforts have just begun. And new video tonight from the U.S. Coast Guard offers a look at the damage in Grand Isle, Louisiana, south of New Orleans. You can see street after street with homes torn apart, debris littering yards and roads and roofs ripped clean off there in a community that has already seen so much devastation. We want to go straight to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, right now. And Chris, Ida is weakening as it pushes inland over Mississippi. The remnants are now headed our way. Yeah, and if you were with us just a few minutes ago, you saw we were doing tornado warning coverage for yeah. those areas of parts of Gilmer County, Gordon County, and Pickens County. Because of some of these outer bands that are moving through, they can often exhibit some rotation with them that would be brief. And we did have a brief uh, report and also uh, indications on radar of a possible tornado there in parts of far areas of western Gilmer County, southwestern Gilmer, uh, southern parts of Pickens, western Pickens, and also far eastern parts of Gordon County. Very heavy rain just to the east of 75 up in north Georgia right now and in northwest Georgia. And again, it did exhibit some rotation earlier enough that it was uh, prompting a tornado warning. We also had trained spotters there that did see a rotating wall cloud, and that's why they prompted that warning. Now we're dealing with just some really heavy rain, thunder and lightning about to move into L that's going to continue moving up toward the north at any time in any of these cells. We could see some rotation developing, so we're going to be on standby with you this evening overnight and really through much of the day tomorrow for the potential for additional tornado warnings to be issued. You can see how this line is related to the main rain shield here in association with Ida. There's that main spin right there in Mississippi, so we're going to be watching this pinwheel effect with these bands that have been developing here. We also had a warning over near Auburn, Alabama earlier. We have to watch that band as it moves into northwest or into West Georgia and this one over us right now. Stay with us. Sam and I are here. We're monitoring these bands and these lines. Uh, the storm Ida was just downgraded to a tropical depression, but that doesn't mean we can let our guard down because we're expecting more severe weather with this.